Hi Divas! Hi everybody! Welcome to Wanda's Work Basket for all things creative and crafty with a little bit of inspiration mixed in. Everybody knows what this orange bag means now. Yep, it's another Tamu order. Uh, things for junk journaling and other items. I will show you in a moment. It's a big pack so let me get out a few things at a time. Okay, the first set of goodies from the bag is Lacy Bits. I use these in junk journaling and adorning all kinds of things. So let's show you, let's see, let's show you the daisies first, the little ones first. All right, these are, okay, this is a run of colorful daisies. They have them in several different color shades, color stories. Okay, I think they're pretty. They go from like a, yeah, this is the right side. They go from a tan to a purple, and then it repeats. Okay, so that's one. And they you get about, let's see, one, two, you get about two and a half yards. You get about two and a half yards of each one. All right, so that's one. Number two is a pastel shade. I really love the peach and teal together. And the peach and teal together with the um, the ecru in the middle. That's two. Two different shades. I'll move that down a little bit. <clears throat> I have two more shades of them that I purchased. And these you can cut into individual little daisies and make a fun cluster. You can use them as a strip. You can use them as a strip. And this is the tan and white. I like that. And this is the yellow and white. <clears throat> okay. There is the end. There we go. Okay, and this is yellow and white. So I have several shades then. Yellow. Oops. Tan. The pastel one. And the fun one. Aren't they pretty? You can mix and match them too if you'd like. You can make them all into a cluster or cut them individually. And I have one more flowery thing to show you. I think these are individual. No, they're in a strip as well. Remember the, the little things you used to get on your bra? <laughs> the little purple clusters you used to get on your bra? <laughs> these this is a line of those as well. I thought they would be pretty and even nostalgic in a way. <laughs> in the junk journals too. By the way, I will be coming out with a decorating your junk journal video and I'll show you how I use some of these things in the junk journal and how you can make one yourself. Okay, I'm going to put the lace away for now. I have another one that I love. Okay, I don't like the rubber band around it, but I understand why it's there. Let me see if you can see it. This is silky. It feels like silk. I doubt that it is, but it feels like silk. Rayon can feel like silk. It's just leaves. 
I like to draw when I when I do doodle. One of my doodles is a strip of of uh, leaves like this, and this is at least oh my gosh, this I can't I can't tell how many yards this is, <clears throat> but let's say. Uh, oh my goodness. Let's see. If it's a half a yard each run, that would be one. It'd be pretty. Okay. Here's another woven lace. Again, enough to weave the ribbon in across the top. And another scalloped border in ecru. So all together, I think there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve different kinds of laces. Two and a half yards each. Let me see. Two and a half yards each of twelve different laces in one pack. And uh, believe me, I don't spend more than $5 for any of this. So it, each one of these would cost more if you bought it at the um, fabric store. They would cost more than this. Oh, I caught my tea bag in with the daisy here. Don't want to do that. I will put these away in the plastic in a moment. I won't take up your time to do that. They have, let's see, <coughs> I will put away the felt as well. Well, no, not from this next one. I'll leave it up for this next one. Okay. <coughs> I am looking for a way to package some of my ephemera, my fussy cutted, fussy cut uh, cutouts that I've made. For, uh, bleh, try it again. I'm looking for different ways of organizing my cuts, like my magazine cuts for collage. And I got some more. I got some more uh, baseball card slot. pockets that you put in a three ring or five ring binder. You put them in from the top in here. What you can do, you can use it both sides. If you put a piece of cardboard in each one, you can put some cutouts in the front and some cutouts behind the slot. You only have a slot in one side of them. So you can still put your cutouts on either side so that, um, let me see, let me cut this one out and you can, you can see what I mean here. Okay. That way. So that way you can see at a glance what you have and use it. I have them all stacked up in a, in a box and I have to flip through the box the whole time to use it. I'm not sure how many are in the pack. I didn't remember how much I ordered, but there are quite a few in here. Let's see. There are 50 sheets of these and there are nine slots. So nine and nine is 18 if you use the front and back of each one. So 18 times 50 and it will tell you how many slots you have available to capture your ephemera. And I'm sure I can use this for the small pieces. No problem. Even words, if you cut out words for collages, uh, small words, you can use that for that as well. Also for collages, I got one, two, five of these small little books. Let me open one to show you. For larger pieces of ephemera, it comes in this plastic clear, I love clear plastic. 
because then I can see exactly what's in it. I can put a, a title piece in the first one and um, and you can tell immediately what's in the little booklet. They sit on a shelf easily. So they, again, they are top loaded envelopes. So you can put larger pieces of ephemera in them. Let's see, one, or, you know, sticker collection or something like that. Okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And since it's doubled, you have 20. You can put a piece of, uh, you have 20 of these sheets, so you can use it double. So 40 sides. If you put the cardboard in between these and use both sides of it, you have 40. 40 sides you can use for the ephemera. So I have five of these, so five times 40, 200 sides. <laughs> right? I don't do math. <laughs> um, yeah, 200 sides. <laughs> it's pretty bad that I had to think on that one for a minute. I'm not a math genius. <laughs> I know people, not numbers. So, okay, so I have a lot of different things. I'll show you when these are done, when I have some ephemera in them. I'll show you in a different video, probably in one of my monthly wrap-ups. <laughs> Let me see. What else do I have? Oh. And I got, these are four each. You can put it in a small three-ring notebook. It looks like there's 50 in here as well. And they're like the medium size pocket. A little bit bigger than the baseball card slot. <clears throat> and there's 50 of these as well. And I can put these in a small three ring notebook. You know, these are also good for diamond painting drills. If you get the little baggies, if you get the little baggies, there are some clear notebooks that you can get. You can put I would only suggest one bag of drills in each one because they can rip down the down the um, sealed parts if you put too much in them. That's why I use them mostly for paper or ephemera. But I do have notebooks that have that I've used that I've done that for for diamond painting drills in their little plastic baggies and slip them in here. It's really nice and convenient to keep the colors separated and you can see what you have as well. All right, that is the plastics. <coughs> and the rest are something else here. show you these goodies, then I'll show you the clothing thing that I got, and then I'll show you the rest of the bag full of junk journaling charms. Okay, so this is a colorful thank you roll. I do have an Etsy shop, Wanda's Work Basket at Etsy.com. I'm not sure how long the Etsy shop will be up, but if not, um, I do have some scrapbooking kits there. I will soon have some junk journals up for sale there. I do have some diamond painting cover minders that I've made on there. So if you want to check those out, you can. I'm running low on the cover minders, so just in case. But these are like little thank you stickers that you can put on envelopes when you send them out. And I like to send my subscribers some happy mail once in a while. If you'd like to be on my list for happy mail, you can email me at wandasworkbasket at gmail.com and I will send you a form to fill out that just ha asks for your address, your online initials, and you know your, your handle for online. I do not share addresses with anybody. I don't ask for phone numbers. I only use it for mailing goodies to you. And whether you win one of the contests or whether you uh, want to sign up for one of my de-stashings, anything like that. I need to have your address ahead of time so that if you win, I can send it to you rather than waiting for you to email me 
back and you know all kinds of timing stuff involved so and it also asks for your preference in diamond painting and crafting so that I know what to send you that I that what I send you you will like okay for plannering <laughs> plannering is that a word <clears throat> for playing in my planners and um, um, scrapbooking journaling that kind of thing I got some more washi tape I don't need I can show you my washi tape collection at some point I really don't need any more washi tape but these are beautiful purples they had a whole range of cover colors they call them masking tapes basically they're an easy peel offable um, easy peel offable tape but they really um, I'm hoping they stick well this I'll show you these guys first I got three of these I don't know why I did, but they were so intriguing to me. Uh, where's the opening? Okay, here we go. I want to put them back in their case, so I will find a way to use these. Maybe put a little gift in it. There's clear plastic in there, and it's a little has a little tiny latch. It's just a, a pressure close. And they do open, and they're like little treasure chests. Wouldn't this be neat to put a gift in? Like, um, I mean, it's plastic. It's not metal. And it's clear plastic in between. But to wrap up in a beautiful tissue paper, a piece of jewelry, like say if you were giving some, uh, giving a relative some estate jewelry from their grandmother or something like that, or grandfather that would be really neat to put in this to wrap up and put in this or even someone's engagement ring <laughs> but anything like that that would be neat so I don't know how I'm going to use them yet I might even bling one out I don't know but I got three of those this is interesting I don't think Unless you paint, you probably don't haven't seen these before. This is a silicone. Oh, it doesn't have the bumps in the bottom. I was hoping. I have to buy a different one with the bumps in the bottom. This is a silicone thing that you can put your... You can... Come on. You... You put water in the bottom, and it kind of like to rinse off your paintbrushes in. I don't think it'll hold that many. It will hold them. Hmm. It will hold them too. It won't hold that many. But it's basically there should be some ridges or bumps in the bottom so that you can gently scrub off your paintbrushes in them in the water so that more of the paint comes off of them. So I'm gonna have to order one with different one with bumps in the bottom, but these are these little eggy things are so cute. A silicone egg. And it has a suction cup bottom. So it'll stay where you put it once you wet the bottom a little bit. It's cute. <laughs> I don't know if it's exactly what I want uh, what I wanted to use it for, but so what? Okay. I have some clothing items here. This is a hat. Definitely going to wear it this summer. <laughs> Look how fancy. <laughs> you know me in color. Let me get rid of this red background because it clashes. <laughs> Let's see. Move the felt. Okay, yep, it's a baseball hat with all kinds of fancy painting colors on it. It does have an adjustable back here. It's cotton. I don't need the paper shaper here. Oh, wow. Try it on. Oh, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> nice wide brim. I like that. I got a scarf. Let's see. 
where's my opening? Here it is. <clears throat> I don't know that this is the colors I expected it to be. Ooh, it's silky, very silky. Get rid of that plastic. Yeah, that's one thing I don't like about ordering from places is the little plastic you get when you get them back. Try to reuse the plastic as best I can. Okay, the corners of the scarf have tassels on them, all four corners. It is 100% polyester. Yes, it is made in China. Very silky fabric. It's got all these patterns in it. It's a shame I can't show you the whole thing in one shot. But it's got a lot of different patterns in it. And no, I'm not going to cut it apart and use it for like sari silk. It's too uh, loosely woven for that. But it's got my colors, the orange and yellow, with some blue in it. So it would go with blue jeans or it's long enough to wrap around your neck. See, I have it wrapped around my neck at the table and it's still long enough. You can, uh, you know, tie it. You can wrap it around your head. You can throw it on your shoulder. It's beautiful. I like to wear these things with my clergy shirts to give them some extra color. Give them a boost of color. Beautiful. I like that. All right. And I got a purse. I wanted to see the quality of their purses. <laughs> what is this? And they threw little goodies in here. I didn't see that. <laughs> These are pins. Just little, cheap little pin backs. But here is... This is Moonlight. Uh, it's a banner that just says Moonlight. I don't know what that would be for. It had a little rabbit. A little piggy cupcake. And a little piggy with a lolly. <laughs> well, they're cute. I don't know. Maybe I'll give them to my granddaughter just for fun. I could take the pin back off of them, maybe, and make them into a cover minder. I don't know what I'll do with the Moonlight one. That doesn't make sense to me, but they're cute. That was an unexpected gift. All right, here's the purse. This is the back. A smooth back. It's got uh, a water bottle thing on each side. I don't know that they're big enough for a water bottle. I was expecting them to be bigger. They don't look big enough for a wide water bottle in it. Yes, I should try it, but I don't have a water bottle right now to do that with. A little string hanging off the end. I don't like little strings hanging off the end. I love the, uh, the sage green and cream color. It's got several pockets on the front. It's got, let's see... All right, there it is. It's got a little pocket in here. If I open this pocket, there are plastic zippers. They aren't the metal kinds. This one would be good for a cell phone pocket. This one might be good for keys. It's got a tiny little one. If the zippers look like they're partially like broken or open, this would be good for ID. If you put your driver's license or something in here. Or your card if you're doing a lot of shopping. They're very um, cheap plastic catches. This is just uh, like a key pocket with this kind of a latch on the front. They break easily. Ah! On the front, if you lift up the flap, you also have a zipper pocket that goes all the way down the front. If I'm mailing something, I like to have a pocket to stick the mail in, or my notebook, or my pencils, my glasses, so they don't get smashed by other things. All right, on the inside, it's got the yellowish interior. Uh, let's see about the pockets in here. Um, okay. Along the back wall, I have no idea how to get this to show up. It's got two small pockets. 
on the inside that are big enough um, that are as maybe as a large credit card type slot maybe a little mini notebook slot they're not long enough for pens or pencils and those are the only two things on the inside the the inner it's like a really stiff like a rip stop nylon like that make windbreakers out of it it's kind of crunchy I don't really like the crunchiness of it but it's washable it's very washable you can even use this as a small like a diaper bag for a toddler that kind of thing it's got another plastic zipper on across the top that I don't like that's that's how they make them so cheaply though you know that's just how they get away with making them cheaply very plasticky zipper the weaving it's got a shoulder strap it's got a shoulder strap as well as a carry strap that's good and it's got adjustable on the shoulder strap again with the plastic uh, rings I will use this this summer it's nice and lightweight I can take it to the beach uh, you know to put some snacks or something in for the beach um, or to carry your little diamond paintings or crafty project with you if you're on an outing you can definitely put like if, if you're out shopping and you don't want a whole lot of weight on your arm <laughs> to carry your whole purse around something light for the summer I'll let you know how it wears um, it's really I, it, I, it's great. It's washable. I wonder how long the plastic zippers will hold up, but we shall see. We should say it's not made for the long haul, but it's nice. I love the color. They had them in several different colors. They have little um, pieces of thread hanging out the sides. I do. I do like that. Some more from Tamu. These I will just dump out. I will need to show you on a white tray some things. Oh, I have the little peach flowers to go with the lacy things. I thought I had gotten them all. All right, where did I put the lacy things? There they are. Along with the felt. All right, this is a silicone stamp. You use these to stamp images. Um, I got this because it reminds me of travel. They are individually little silicone stamps. You put them on a block. Okay, you put the little silicone stamp on an acrylic block. You ink it up and stamp it on what you're doing and it shows you on the front what the stamps are going to be. They kind of look like travel. Um, let me put this on. Oh, I see. That's why it's... They look like travel. This one has the Eiffel Tower on it. This one says Paris. It says postage. Um, arrived, airmail, first class, visa, like a passport document, that kind of thing. Uh, little stars, little flag. Fantastic little stamps for junk journaling. Definitely. Now, I mean, it's got a, you know, a silicone sheet, an acrylic sheet on either side of them. Now, I do want to keep this together in here. Great for journaling. <clears throat> okay, speaking of junk journaling, what I like to do is put charms on the edges of the junk journals. And these are interesting. I got some shells. Oh, they're in two different packages here. These are not real shells. They look like they're plastic. They are plastic. That's really interesting. Uh, 
really interesting. Well, they won't break easily. Let me bring you in so you can see what I'm doing here. All right. It's their plastic shells. They look lifelike, but they have a loop at the top. And there are four different kinds. And they come in a pack like this. Let's see. I don't know how many are in here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty-one. <laughs> twenty-one. <laughs> That's an odd number. Um, hmm, interesting. So I'm going to put them all in this pack. I store my ephemera, my charm ephemera, and my extra uh, beads for threading on to things. I store them in containers from Harbor Freight, divided containers from Harbor Freight. I'll have to show you my bead collection sometime, huh? All right, these are interesting. There's a variety of different colors. I think there are at least 30 of these. They're little stones with a gold cage around them. Okay. And that's the packet of those along the same vein. Let me make sure I have them all picked out here. So I know where I'm going with this. <coughs> okay, along the same vein, I have stars. Gold stars wrapped around the same gems in a variety of colors. There's blue, dark blue in here, green, yellow, red, turquoise blue, like aqua. And there's some clear ones in there too. So you can match the colors to your junk journal. There's a lot of those. Two of those last. Two of those. <laughs> okay. I have a bag of wooden buttons. <laughs> they are very colorful. I think there are at least 50 of these in here. Very colorful. They're in like three different sizes, I believe. A small, medium, and a large. I thread these onto junk journal things as well, and you can glue them on pages. They're really cool, and then lay nice and flat. They do have a hole in them if you'd like to use them as buttons on like a, um, a blouse or something to jazz up something, but they're, they, they go with my hippie boho heart. <laughs> my bohemian hippie heart <laughs> loves this kind of thing. There's at least 50 of those in a pack. And again, I didn't spend that much for these. Um, I got... These are little screw eyes. If you want to make something into... Uh, something you can hang as a charm, these are little screw eyes. I got them in gold and silver. They're like a hundred or so in here, or maybe 120 a gross. You you just screw these and with a little dab of glue into whatever you want to to hang. That's convenient. All right, I've got a bag of little plastic, little metal. Are they metal or plastic? I don't know. They're heavy enough to be metal. These are clockworks. They're very lightweight, maybe in aluminum. In rose gold and gold, and an, uh, an old metal, and this has a teal color to it. That one's broken. I've made a few, <clears throat> I still have a few uh, cover minders that I made out of little clock parts like this that are on the Etsy shop. But these would be pretty, I'm not sure about the nut. The, the nut would be pretty in a cover minder type of 
deal, but the other ones would be nice. They're nice and flat for, oops, there's another one. It has like a heart in the middle. <laughs> for your junk journals. To put on a junk journal page. If you're doing something steampunk-ish, that would be fun. Okay. I got two packs of these. They are charms. Tree of Life Charms. This is what you get in one pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten in a pack. They would be nice hanging from a bracelet. Different bracelets. One bracelet from a necklace, if you want. They are, you know, I got them for junk journal charms. But I got two packets of those as well. And I don't pay more than a dollar or two for any of these things, so you'll have to look on the, up on the Temu site if, if you want more information than that. Now, these are beads. All right. All right. They are a plastic bead. And let's see, I'm not sure how many come in a pack here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Okay, so twenty in a pack. These are little cameos. Can you see the little faces? Can you see the little they look Grecian or Pompeian, that kind of thing. Roman like little cameos with uh, an aqua um, background. They are they have smaller holes than I thought they did. I'm going to use them for junk journal charms, but I can't get the thread through that. You can get a beading needle through it easily. For junk journaling, I use twine for them, and these will not wine will not go through these. Your normal bracelet uh, monofilament will easily go through it. So I have, I got three packs of this cameos. <clears throat> I got one pack of the same color with gold embossing on it. I got a pack of, of these guys. Again, the hole through the middle and their geometric shape on it. They would they would make nice necklaces and bracelets and things like that. They're plastic. They're not glass. Let's see. One of those. I got one pack of these. They're a little bit bigger when you're doing a necklace or a, you know some jewelry. You want similar things, but different sizes of those similar things in it. I won't take them all out of the pack. But, uh, and the hole goes lengthwise on these. I don't know now. I'm, I didn't get them for jewelry, but that's... I'll figure out a way to use them. I absolutely will. And I got two packs of these. These are easy to use on the junk journal because like, they have charms. They, they have a charm ring on them. Come on. <laughs> they have, see the charm ring on them? The little hearts. The... The aqua hearts, the coloring is on both sides. These are perfect for junk journaling. Perfect for charms. All right. I got two other things. Two last things. Oh, I got two of those heart, three of those heart packs. Two other things that I'd like to show you that I got from Tamu. These are the last two. These two from Tamu. Alright, here we go. 
These are a variety of replica old keys. They are not old keys that would go with anything. Some of them have, this is interesting, it's got like a seahorse look to it. That's really cool. I never saw that before. They have loops at the top that you can use them at hang them as charms. This one's more 3D. Looks more like a, a scepter of some kind. The traditional one, the flower one, that's neat. It's got uh, three loops on the top. They have some kind of um, engraving along the side as well. There's a little bat charm. Look at this. I didn't expect that. See the little bat charm? That's really cool. Little ones, big ones, and a cross. Looks like a Celtic type of cross. What other goodies are in here now? Oh, look at this one. Wow. Wow. I mean, there is a large number of keys in here. Some of them are duplicates. Some of them are really different. This one's pretty. It's got a crown on it. That one's pretty. This has got a different kind of daisy. This one looks like a locker key. <laughs> Let me see. Tiny ones. Oh, look. It's got a little heart on the side. Yep. There's all kinds of interesting shapes and sizes. This one's got like steampunk gears on it. <laughs> Watch gears. Wow. Uh, there's at least 50 in here. Very nice. And you only use one per junk journal. So there's plenty of charms in here to use if you want to make for gifts or for sale or something like that. Since I'm planning on selling a few junk journals. And this last one is for me. I got a necklace with a really cool fish on it. And it's got a set, um, a set of beads to hang it hangs from. They're all wooden beads. There's some plastic ones in the in the other in the accent, but they're all wooden beads. It's like a maybe an 18 inch. I just thought the colors on that were beautiful. And it would go with my style. So, that's a necklace. Another thing in with the clothing from Tamu, I got little finger gloves. Sometimes in the winter when I'm diamond painting, I'm going to take off my rings just to be sure. These, these rings anyway. Just to... Uh, test them out. Sometimes my fingers get cold. My hands get cold. So I like these little finger gloves. I like the little finger gloves to keep my fingers. I can use my fingers at the same time it keeps my hands warm. Aren't they pretty? They had different designs on them as well. Little bumblebees around some flowers and it's on the outside of both gloves. Pretty. I can't wait to use them. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe. Don't forget that Tuesday nights we have a live at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you'd like to be notified of other videos that come up, unboxings and unwrappings and sneak peeks and uh, doing diamond painting and junk journaling and scrapbooking and lots of different kinds of crafts, um, embroidery, painting, lots of different things. If you'd like to be notified of my next video, don't forget to click the little bell at the bottom. Thank you for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!